to be Romeo or not let down your fair hair? Good day, my fellow mathematicians, and welcome as we continue down the path to becoming primary mathematician problem solvers. And today, we're going to explore the problem solving strategy of acting it out. Most of the time when we're in class, it's not very practical to get up and start acting. But we substitute acting it out in math class with things I'm sure you're very familiar with, manipulatives. So we use manipulatives as subjects for the objects in our math problems, and we manipulate the manipulatives to solve the problem. Now, sometimes math manipulatives are not always easy to come by. So that's why I use these babies, my favorite of all math manip manipulatives. So let's take a look at a problem and solve it using the act it out strategy. Okay, let's check out this problem. There are five kids at the party. If two of them are girls, how many boys are in the group? So in this problem, they're asking about members of a group. It's not so easy to get a bunch of people together to solve every math problem, so I'm going to use my fingers as manipulatives. And in this problem, my fingers are going to be people in the group. The problem says there are five people in the group. Well, if two of them are girls, let's say my thumb and my pinky are girls, how many people in the group are boys? Three. Very good. Okay, we're going to use the act it out strategy to solve this problem. But rather than act it out or get a group of people, we're going to use manipulatives. And for this problem, we're going to use our fingers as actors. So the problem said there were five kids. We got five fingers. Each finger represents a, a kid at the party. This problem then goes on to say that two are girls. So we'll call those two the girls. That means the rest are boys. So how many boys are there? Three. Let's look at another problem. All right, let's take a look at this conundrum. Conundrum, that's just another word for problem. It says Pam has some fruit. She has three apples and two oranges. How many pieces of fruit does she have? So in this problem, it's asking us about fruits, apples and oranges. So I'm going to use my hands again. These are going to be the apples and these are going to be the oranges. It tells us that there are three apples and two oranges. How many pieces of fruit are there all together? Well, now we just need to count. One, two, three, four, Five. Five pieces of fruit. Let's look at the solution on paper. She has three apples and two oranges. We're using our hands. One hand to represent the apples and one hand to represent the oranges. I'm going to label three apples. One, two, three and two oranges, one, two, and now how many pieces of fruit does she have all together? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. She has five pieces of fruit. Okay, so now let's see if you can use this acted out strategy to solve a couple of problems on your own. I'll introduce you to the problem, you hit pause, when you have the problem solved, hit play, and we'll see how you did. It says Tom loves animals. He has four fish and two dogs. How many pets does Tom have? All right, hit pause. Solve this problem on your own using the acted out strategy. 
When you're done, hit play, I'll be here, and we'll see how you did. Okay, so in this problem, they were asking us about how many pets Tom had. The story tells us that Tom has four fish and two dogs. So I'm going to use my hands. This will be the fish, and these will be the dogs. Four fish and two dogs. How many pets all together? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pets. How'd you do it? Let's see if you can solve this problem. And this one has a little twist to it. And right, here's a problem for you. And remember, there's a little twist here. It says Jill had five chicken nuggets. When she turned her head, her brother ate two. Sneaky little kid that he is. How many are left for her to eat? All right, hit pause. Solve the problem. I'll be here when you're ready, and we'll see how you did. Can you see what the twist is? Yeah, we're not figuring out how many are all together. We're taking one away or doing subtraction. So in this story, it said that Jill started out with five chicken McNuggets and her brother ate two. So like we've done before, I'm gonna use my fingers to, as chicken McNuggets. Jill started out with five and her brother ate two. One, Two, how many chicken McNuggets are left? Three, very good. Well, there you go, acting it out. Thank you for joining me as we travel down the road to becoming extraordinary primary mathematicians. And as always, I will see you next time.